Welcome everybody to another trading video. I'm your market analyst Adam Karlberg and today we're going to be having a look at the Swiss franc and its recent price action against the euro and the great British pound. So what we notice about the euro in recent times is that from a macro perspective the economy and the currency has held up relatively well against global inflation pressures and geopolitical conflicts especially within Europe. In fact last week the Swiss franc year-on-year uh, -year inflation was only 3.4%, which was the same as the previous month, which is quite stable compared to other economies around the world. And we've seen this reflected in its currency. So as we move across to the euro and Swiss franc, we notice that the, the euro has been struggling quite significantly against the Swiss franc, and this has largely been due to the strength of the franc. What we can see is that we've got in the long term, as we push out to one week of time frame, we can see that we've got a long term support level just at 96. Um, and our long term resistance is at 1.2. Uh, and the last time we reached this point was actually when the central bank in Switzerland decided to pull the peg off um, the currency and we can see it just rocketed or the euro just dropped in comparison as the, the Swiss franc rocketed. So what we've noticed is we're actually approaching this point. However, the question we need to ask ourselves is, do, are, we in a, are we in a situation or is the sentiment more bearish or stronger for the Swiss franc than it was back in January 2015? or are the circumstances better and are we going to look for a bounce and i think that we're there's more likelihood that the price is going to bounce and potentially that first target will be at about one and then again maybe at 1.05 so those are our first two targets um and you know we can see we might test it again we might push back up something along those lines and as we move into the daily Um, you can see that that's the supports are similar there. And now if we move across to the pound versus the franc, and we'll take that out to a week again, what we can see is we've got a quite a similar pattern over here, um, although not quite as steep. And, you know, we may actually test the bottom of this support at 1.11 before probably breaking back above um, and trying again. But in summary, we can tell we can see that the franc is quite strong at the moment um, and there is definitely room for reversal um, just because we are reaching those long-term support levels. So there you go, guys. Thanks for watching. Good luck trading.